Hey you guys, this is Everything Tech and uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the map of the world which you are seeing here currently in front of your big eyeballs. So, you know, as a child, you know, I always watched this map and I was thinking like, wow, I wish I would live in Denmark, you know? Why? Because, you know, Denmark is just this little country over here. But it owns like Greenland. Wow, look at the size of this, this land. Greenland, whoa. I mean, that's, okay, it's covered by ice, but you know, you can make a nice sleigh ride over there. So still it's like, you know, uh, you know, and you can, you can, if you want, you can put all Africa there, you know, it's a lot of space. And, you know, yeah, and also Russia, it looks so huge. And where is my country? I'm living in the Netherlands. It's like here. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. But this map is not actually a good representative of what the actual size is of these countries. Because this is a 2D, 2D projection of a globe. So we have a nice website on the internet which is called um, www.thrusizeof.com Let's see, does this work? True size of. Ooh, wait a second. Let's Google for it. The true size of. Yes, here we are. Okay. This is a website that says, like, um, you can compare countries with each other. How it works. Well, I mean, you don't even have to think about it, how it works. It's just simple. You just type in a country, so you can click this away. And you can drag this over. Now, let's say, for example, if you think, for example, by watching at Greenland, let's type it in over here, Greenland, enter. So it selects Greenland. What you can do now is like you can drag Greenland over the world. And if you draw it to the equator, it smalls down. So this is actually the size of Greenland in the real world. Now these countries are already, I don't know if I can remove, can I remove them? I don't know. Oh yeah, right, right, okay, right, okay. Now look at this, how big Greenland is. It's like, well, it's the size of, well, roughly Saudi Arabia. <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, let's put it away. Can I put it away? Yeah. So I am living in the Netherlands, which is, you know, which is over here. And I always was thinking like uh, about the country of Israel. And I was thinking like, hmm, is my, is my country bigger or smaller than Israel? So, I, okay, I was thinking like Netherlands. And uh, the Netherlands. So where are you? There are you, the Netherlands. So, okay, I can take my country and I will draw it. I will, I will draw it towards Israel and let me see is this correct let me see if I draw it more if it goes up then it goes bigger the more every country which go it's going more to this to the center is getting more small to the equator so okay so I'm like uh, you know uh, Israel is not very clearly visible on this map but you know if you have to watch about if you have to watch this 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 thing it's like uh, okay so it's like uh, israel is not even that big you know it's like um let me see you have lebanon over here and i think here is yeah here's the border of lebanon so i put like the northern part of netherlands there and like uh it's yeah, that's a pity hmm maybe we can reverse it is Rael. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So we can have two countries with two different colors together. So we can see now already it's like, uh, does it also show data? Oh, crap. I removed it. 
the Netherlands. Okay, get get back over here, you. Okay, does it also provide information? I even don't know that. Oh, do I remove it again? Well, anyway, okay. Let's you know. Let's compare. Uh, let's compare more countries uh, with each other. Go away, and you go away. So um, soon I will be going to uh, Mexico on vacation, and yeah, some people say to me, yeah, but uh, the country is unsafe, and and uh, you know with the drugs issues, etc. Well, the most uh, problems with the drugs are mostly in this area and a little bit in this area, also here a little bit and somewhat on, on the on the west coast. So I'm taking Mexico for example, and and I will drag it towards Europe and just look at look at this. I mean, look at the size of the country. I mean, you would say like Mexico, wow, it's a small country, but look at that. It's at least three times the size of France two and a half, three times the size of France. So, like, I know that Mexico City is around here. So let's say, let's say, uh, okay, I know where the, the drugs related problems are, you know, they are like about here in the northern part. And I'm, I'm living there, yeah, for example, let's say there. So, and I will be going to Mexico City. Then Mexico City will be around, well, around here, in Greece. So, <laughs> I mean, if I go to Mexico City, I mean, oh, it even states now here to the right. You see this? Total size in square kilometers. Ah, okay, so that's nice, okay. That's nice. So Mexico City uh, itself, it's like, uh, it's okay to travel to. I mean, uh, nice country to go to. So, uh, I also went last year to the Philippines, and it, well, I was like thinking, like in the beginning, I was thinking, like for example, the, the island of Luzon, that's this island. I thought, oh, that's you know the size of the, the Netherlands. So I was thinking again, like, oh, okay, the, the Netherlands, get it again. And I was thinking, like, wow, oh, that is just you know the size of the Netherlands. <laughs> until I draw my, until I until I drew my country towards that. And the Netherlands, it's all, it's all, it's like the same size of Taiwan. You see? Yeah, perfectly the size of Taiwan. Only Taiwan is like one mountain area. I mean, I flew over it, and you can already see it by this map. It's like only the um, west coast of Taiwan is populated, while the Netherlands is one giant flat country and heavily populated. But anyway, anyway. So I will drag it here towards Luzon, and I was thinking like, oh, look at that. I mean, if it stops here and I put it there, it's like Luzon is like twice the size of the Netherlands. Ah, so I was right. I was I was here at Binyan here, and so we traveled, for example, to the volcano uh, Pinatubo, which lies to the west here of Angeles. Some oh, here it is. This thing, yeah, Mount Pinatubo. You see, there's Mount Pinatubo. There, I was there, and I was also at um, oh, uh, where is this thing? Oh yeah, Taal, Taal, Mount Taal. That's this volcano. Beautiful place to go. I really can recommend it. I mean, watch my YouTube channel. There is a video about it. But yeah, I mean, if you even think about the, the Taal Lake, you think like it's. It took us. 45 minutes to go from Takatai, this, from here, to here. 45 minutes by boat, but if I take the map of the Netherlands with it, then 45 minutes, yeah, it makes kind of sense, you know, with a boat. I mean, yeah. I know that this dike, this is the closure barrier, it's like 30 kilometers long. So that makes this piece maybe, let's, uh, well, I don't know five six kilometers maybe even more so yeah that makes it understandable why it took so long time to get there so if i take my country even more to the south to australia it's like oh my gosh you don't want to get in that outback so look at that area so okay Let's take more prominent countries, like, you know, they're the, yeah, some people are always think like Russia, especially Russia, you know, Russia is a country you always want to compare it with, but 
but look at this if if you if you drag like russia more south look what happens how and i'm drawing it uh, to it towards the equator because if you even pull it more southwards then it starts to grow again but look at its size now let's let's place it next to brazil and i know russia is still the biggest country in the world but it's not as big as you think it is actually and if you overlay it uh, to the united states it's actually you know yeah depend on where you put it of course I mean, Canada kind of like this but so so it's not even that big it's not not that much bigger than the united states but yeah but still remember that that uh, in the, in russia there are living maybe one third uh, one third the amount of people like in the united states uh, because of like this whole area with you know we call siberia it's mostly in inhabited so most people are living in this area around moscow and and uh, st petersburg is that still called st petersburg right uh yeah st petersburg yeah it is moscow and what do we have even more around here minsk no that is part of belarus uh okay and Kiev is part of Ukraine these days, so what are the biggest cities of, uh, of Russia anyway today? I don't know. Okay, go away, go away, go away. Move, move! <laughs> Russia is, uh, you know, <laughs> it's stubborn, it does not want to go away. Okay, go away. So this is a nice sight, uh, guys, you know, to, to see just wherever you are from and you have a discussion with your friends like uh, oh, no my country is bigger than yours and uh, especially those guys who are from countries like uh, they are roughly equal the same and they are like saying like no my country is bigger than yours no my country is bigger than yours uh, let's put a wager on that etc et mm. yeah so it's a nice sight so uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you can uh, learn something from it and don't trust a map just based on a 2D projection but always think the earth as a globe huh? in this case Greenland is much smaller than it actually appears so uh, take that into account especially when you're going on vacation and you're just looking at such a map like this and you're thinking like oh you know I'm going from here to Mexico for example Oh, we can, you know, we can go to Mexico and then we drive with a car to the to the border like El Paso or something like that. And, uh, you know, and we watch the wall from the outside, like, uh, <laughs> for example. So don't, don't, don't think it's uh, just a small drive. So, um, okay, guys. So uh, thank you for watching and I see you next time. See you guys. Bye bye.